I love everything. I want to live in Europe. First, I, I discovered art embroidery uh, at my school, in my textile school in Montreal. And unfortunately, here where I live in Montreal, there's not really a professional school or let's say a intensive and professional at the level I wanted to learn. It's really about going where the roots of those techniques are, which is uh, mainly Europe. So I went to uh, Le Sage Paris. They're really oriented with the haute couture style. And also I went to London to the Royal School of Needlework, which is uh, really like traditional techniques. And there I learned uh, the Jacobean cruel work. Uh, I also, when I was in Madrid, I went uh, to make a three weeks training in, um, in a special workshop, you know, where they make the, the bullfighter's uh, costume. Uh, that's uh, gold work and poetry. So for the gold work uh, piece, I have all those floral patterns. I can choose and uh, I make a sketch. And after, uh, I transfer the drawing on the fabric. And uh, then I choose to make the outline with uh, tambour beading, with a gold uh, thread. The tambour beading hook, it makes like a chain stitch. You can work really fine and delicate uh, outlines. And then I make uh, the filling, filling the, the shape with uh, gold work techniques. Because embroidery is really an art of uh, uh, many centuries ago who, uh, that has been like transmitted from one generation to another. Uh, you know, traditionally, it's mostly women who do that. So there's something really like feminine about embroidery. And I really like that aspect. It's really about embellishing women also, you know, and women of all ages. So uh, I learned the flower making process in uh, Madrid, in a really traditional and old uh, workshop. We use uh, silk or cotton, all natural fabrics. You can also dye the petals and uh, create um, different shapes, different uh, kind of uh, flower. Especially I like the dyeing because it, it really makes it personal. It's very nourishing also. The pleasure of uh, working with the hands, working with nice materials, I've been like making, let's say, like a collection of different materials, like lace, ribbons, uh, sequins, and I especially love to search for really nice uh, fabric. I put all the materials I want to use in my table. I just get inspired with the materials. And uh, it's really precious for me because uh, it has like an history. There's, there's a story behind it. So for me, it's really important to preserve all those uh, embroidery techniques. And uh, for me, it's really part of my values to, to be able to transmit all that knowledge I received in Europe. I wanted to create like a sort of community of passionate people about this art. So we can interact, we can share uh, about anything, about uh, the process, materials, and to make this art like really living and dynamic. And uh, for me, it is really important. Mm -hmm.